Hey beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel today. Today is Monday and that of course means it is time for another Manic Monday. We are going to be diving into five different subscription boxes today in this video and one of them is my all-time favorite box you guys. It just graduated and made it onto my top 10 list so I'm so excited because we're going to get into that today. So I've got some really good boxes for you guys. Now, as always, if you're new to my Manic Monday and you've never watched a series before like this, this is where I will unbox multiple subscription boxes all in one video, but I'm still going to include all of the information about the boxes down below in that video description box. So if you need links or coupon codes or more information, it's all going to be down there for you. I also have timestamps available, so if you want to see certain boxes or watch them again, I've got that down there also. So we're going to go ahead and get started and check out these boxes and see what we get today. So first up, we're checking out my Happy Hour subscription box. This is going to be the May 2024 box that I'm going to open up today. And this box, oh my gosh, you guys, I just love this. Every time I get it, I am thrilled with it. It is such a great experience and it is 100% worth it. So Appy Hour is a really great charcuterie board box and they send you the most exquisite food items inside. And this month for May, we are going to France. So every month it will change up with the theme or destination as to where you are visiting. We had Ireland in March and that was my first introduction to this box and it was so good, you guys, like unbelievably amazing. And then I had the April box equally just as good. But then I saw in their spoilers on their website that May was going to be featuring France as their destination. So all of the meats and cheeses and treats that we're supposed to have in this box today are all going to be from France. So I'm excited because I feel like we're going to get some really good cheeses this month. So your box will be completely insulated when it is delivered to you. So all of the food items will stay fresh and cold. So not only do you have that insulation in there, but they also have the ice packs as well, which this is still cold, mind you. So they package it really well to keep everything fresh. And then inside, you're going to have all of your amazing goodies. And there's a little bit of it. Oh, that smells good. Oh gosh, that smells really good. But there's a little bit of everything in this box. So our first item that I have in here is called, oh gosh, I am not going to be able to pronounce this. I'm going to totally butcher it, but it looks like it's a salami of sorts. So it says it's an irresistible staple. It's steeped in French charcuterie tradition. This is hand chopped pork, brightly flavored with juniper and brandy. It's beloved for its flavor, but it's an air cured salami for a true taste of spring. It smells incredible like I can smell it out of this package and it smells so good you guys now again this is just one and like I said my husband and I will do this box as like a date night and there is more than enough food here we get like two date nights out of this box next item is called copa this is a dry cured pork shoulder that is bathed in a salt brine and then rubbed with red and black pepper this is based from an Italian cured meat maker in San Francisco, actually. Oh my goodness, I can smell it. Like, it just is a balloon of smell. It smells incredible. Look at this. Ah, oh, wow, that is good. This has a barbecue scent to it. Like, you know how Kansas City's got some great dry rubbed barbecue? That's what this smells like. It smells so good. The seasoning is really spot on. The next item that I have in here is a box of crackers. These are wafer crackers, and it says that they'll complement your cheese dips and toppings. They're all made in Australia. They're crunchy wafer crackers. You get plenty in there to go with your charcuterie board. Oh my gosh, there's so much food in here. My next one is a brie. This is what I'm so excited for. If you guys have not had brie cheese, it is so good, like soft and creamy. This one says that it's from the mountains in France where it's renowned for its quality of milk. This has a smooth flavor profile that hints at a subtle mushroom flavor from the rind. 
So this will be our brie cheese here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one again. We gotta look at it. Brie is almost like an ooey gooey kind of cheese. Now you do cut off that crust, so you don't eat that, but the cheese itself is so soft and delicious. It is just a very creamy cheese. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, if you guys are cheese lovers, this box knows it's cheeses. We also have a box of dried apricots inside of the box. So these will be freshly dried apricots. Additionally, we have a box of sweet and smoky almonds here. Now, one thing that's great too is all of these containers can seal back up for freshness. So again, if you don't eat it all in the first sitting, you can reseal them and eat them later as well. We also have another cheese. This is called Alp Blossom. This says that it's a cow's milk cheese. It's a tangy flavor and botanical because it's got notes of flowers in this semi-soft cheese. Wow. Now it does feel firmer than the brie by quite a bit. So it did say it was a semi-soft, but I can definitely tell that this one is a firmer cheese. So I'm gonna open this up. And you can see this giant wedge of cheese here. Ooh, you can see all of the herbs that are crusted on here. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So again, you're not gonna eat that crust, but it is gonna give you gorgeous flavor as well. It's very aromatic. Like, oh my gosh, this one smells really good. Yep. I will eat this, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try this right here. I'm just gonna take a little piece off, you guys, just to try it. But, oh man. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is a semi-soft because it almost melts in your mouth. There is a slight little kick in there too. Like there's a little bit of a spice. Now I do have a very sensitive palate to heat and I don't do well with spiciness. So this could honestly just be black pepper that I'm tasting because there is a very soft little kick in there and I'm okay with it. It's not too much for me at all, but I can definitely taste it. But this does taste herbally. Like, you know what I mean? Like you can just taste kind of like this herbs and floral I don't know how else to explain it. It's good, but you can tell there's another flavor in there. We have another block of cheese. I knew we were going to get the cheeses this month. I just had a feeling. This one is a French cheese made from sheep. It is a rich cheese and it's been aged for several months. It will have a nuttiness flavor with hints of grass and caramel on this. Ooh. All right. So this is what the name of the cheese is called. Which, by the way, if you guys have not noticed, the cheese blocks that you get in this box are very generous. So I've talked about this before that when I go to my local grocery stores, we do not have this large of cheese blocks available. And if you are going to get the cheese, it's expensive. Like cheese is so ridiculously priced at the grocery store that I can't buy it versus this box is way more affordable because not only do you get the cheese, you get all of the other ingredients as well. Plus it's coming from France, which makes it even better. So this is our next block of cheese. Now this is definitely firmer, but again, look at that crust. Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells good. This smells really good. I smell the nuttiness. Yeah, they said nutty. I don't know if I'm getting caramel though. I don't notice a caramel scent, but I do smell the nuttiness in this cheese and it is a firmer cheese. I'm gonna try it again. I wanna see. Oh. Oh, now that is a strong cheese. Ooh, yes. It's strong, but I like it. But definitely, man, you get that nutty flavor when you're eating that one. This one has got, this one's really good. The other one with the florals was so interesting, but this one I'm like, whoa, this is great. Last item inside of this box is peach creamed honey. Ah, this sounds amazing. So this is a honey and peach extract that's been mixed together. It is from a company in Ohio and they made this jar and you can spread this on your cheeses and crackers with your box. So that is everything inside of my Happy Hour box for May. So excited for this one, you guys. I love that there is one, a lot of cheeses, 
but I like that they give us the little sweetness with the fruits, like the apricots, and then you get the honey in there. And I feel like they're gonna really complement each other together on a cracker, but this box needs wine. I need to find a really good wine for this. I'm gonna look at their recommendations and see, because just eating those couple bites of cheese already, I'm like, I need a glass of wine. Next up, we're gonna take a look at my Velobox subscription for May 2024. Velobox is a monthly candle subscription where you will receive one candle each month. Additionally, they're also going to include a free bonus item in the box to go along with it. Now, we will all receive the same bonus item, but we could receive different candles. So you are able to take a scent profile quiz when you first sign up, and then each month they will pair you with a candle based off of your scent quiz. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this subscription, I will be posting a link down below. I do have a coupon code that will save you 50% off of your first order, so you can try out a candle, see what you think of it. All of the candles are guaranteed to be made with soy wax, and they are all cotton wicks. So every single month that will not change. However, like I said, the scent could change depending on your profile. So this is my May box here and we've got our candle down below. Oh, it smells good. Oh yes. Whatever this is, it's fruity and I like it. But your candle will arrive in a bag and these bags I will reuse as gift bags and then I'll just fill them with like candy or little treats or goodies like that. I've even put in here like a Ziploc bag of like coffee before and given that as a gift to someone. So this will change up each month, but they are really nice canvas bags. So my candle is from a brand called Rose West Studio and it is a citrus candle. I knew it, it smells so good. This is what it will look like here. It is a glass jar and then you'll just have a screw on lid at the top. Each month, Velobox will feature a different artisan from somewhere around the US. So you will have a different artisan that makes your candle every single month. And that's also where you're gonna get different scents as well. So like I said, it is a single wick and it is a cotton wick. And ooh, this is good. That citrus is amazing. So there is a touch of floral to this, but it's very subtle, but it smells so good. This smells like summer to me. So the fact that it's passion fruit in here and bergamot, oh my gosh. This one is really good. I would rebuy this, it's that good. Like I am willing to look up this brand and find out if they have a subscription box because that is one good candle. So if you order this, you would need to have a citrus scent in your profile for them to pair you up with this. You can also list off scents that you don't want as well and they'll make sure not to send that to you. Now our free bonus item is a fragrance roll-on. This is a lavender essential oil that Vela Box made and will be included in everyone's May box. So if you'd like to try out a candle every single month and save 50% off, I got you covered with that link and discount code down below. Next up, we're gonna look at the Literary Book Club and this is going to be for summer 2024. Now this subscription box I received a little bit early. So the owner of the company was really gracious and she did let me know she was sending it over early. That way I could show my viewers. So I'm really excited that it's here and I can share it with you guys. This is a quarterly book subscription where they will take a classic piece of literature, give it a facelift, include it in your box and then they're also going to give you some bonus items to go along with that story. Now they are not going to be retelling the story or changing anything about it. These are all going to be classic pieces of literature and like I said they're just going to be giving it some cosmetic changes. Now this book subscription is done very well and every detail in here is just gorgeous. So this is what it will look like when you open up your summer box and inside you're gonna take notice of your stamp. This will change up with every quarterly box. So in my envelope, it says the Enchanted April on the front. This is the very first custom edition. The Enchanted April is a story of four mismatched women who respond to an advert in the Times that offers a beautiful medieval castle to rent on the Italian Riviera. 
The bashful four will be enchanted by this promise of wisteria and sunshine. Tensions will mount between the group at first, but as the days tick by, each is slowly transformed by the warm sunshine and unexpected company. So here is the featured book in the summer box. It is called The Enchanted April by Elizabeth Von Arnhem. And then we do have a different illustrator, but look at how beautiful this is. Hardback book. It does have a price tag of $29.99 back here on the book as well. So this is good size. I like the paper. It feels really nice. There are different illustrations in here as well. There's not a lot, but you can kind of see like the advert that they were looking at, give you a little bit more context. 243 pages is what I see in this book. So that looks like it's going to be a good read. Now inside of your box, you're going to have several more presents, all with this purple theme, and they're all going to go along with your story. So this first one says to open it while you are reading. So you would do that once you're in the book. And like I said, do this the right way. I'm just going to do it because I'm unboxing and I want to show you guys, but it's a much better experience if you do it the right way. But inside of this, we will have a blend of tea and you can drink your tea while you're reading your book. The next bundle says to open up while we are reading. And in here, I have some hard candy. It's lemon. I love lemon hard candies. These ones look really good because it says they're from Italy. So I will take a look. They even look like they have a cream filled center. Oh, that looks delicious. The next one says to open when the last page has been read. So we don't want to open this until we finish the book or if you're an unboxer like me. <laughs> so in here, oh, I've seen these all over Instagram and TikTok. This is an acrylic case that looks like the book. It's got the purple markings on here and it can be a watering holder for flowers so you can put fresh cut flowers in here if you want to you could fill it up with fairy lights if you'd like to do that as like a decor piece we have another package that says to open on a specific page so when we get to that page in the book is when you will open this one so here we have the original makeup eraser it is a mini makeup eraser that you can take with you on the go. These are really, really good, you guys. I have several of these. Oh, and it's beautiful. It has a floral print to it. So instead of using like your Neutrogena makeup wipes, you just add water to this and it will remove all of your makeup without stripping your skin. And then you can just throw it in the laundry and wash it and reuse these constantly. I have another bundle in here that says to open on page 11. And this one is a passport holder. I am actually needing one of these, you guys. So this is great timing. And look at how beautiful this is. So you have a quote from the book. And then you've also got this beautiful print. I actually just sent off my passport for renewal this morning. Because believe it or not, we have another trip coming up. And so I'm going to be needing this. So my parents serve as missionaries in the Philippines and we're looking to go out and see them for a little while. So I was like, well, I got to get the passport done. I just sent it off this morning for renewal and this is perfect timing. I will totally use this. I have another bundle that says page 52 on it. And in here we have a little jar. This one is a candle. It is a two ounce candle that we have here. So let me smell this. Oh, this is citrus too. It smells exactly like oranges. Ha! So apparently summer definitely means citrus. We have two more items inside of this box, but I got to tell you guys, this box is packed this month. I feel like it just keeps going and going. So my next item will be a quote from the book and it's going to have that same matching print that we've seen on all of the other items. But this is a quote from the book. You can frame these if you'd like to. You can put them on poster board, whatever you would like. But she usually will include that in every box. Obviously, the quote will change depending on the book that you have. And the last bundle will be a couple of things for your book. So in here, you're going to have a bookmark that will match that same print once again. And it's also going to have another quote on here. They're usually very good size. 
We additionally will have a sticker with the quote. So this is just a smaller version of the larger poster I showed earlier. We will have one more sticker that's going to be the front of the book. So this goes along with it. And then we have one more. And this is a sticker that you can put in the book if you want to write like who this belongs to or if you want to gift this to someone, you could use this too. So that is everything inside of the Literary Book Club for summer. There's a lot in here, you guys. So not only do you get a great book, but you're also gonna get all of these extra bundles along with it. If you're interested in purchasing this exact same box, I do have a link and code down below. Next up, we're gonna look at the Mother Earth Wrap Club subscription box. This is all presented by Goff Jewelry. So this company is a small business owner and she hand makes all of her jewelry items. She does have two different subscriptions available on her website. This one is called the Mother Earth Wrap Club and it's a little bit different than their manifestation box. But this one, I always feel like the bracelets they're very unique because they do have a wrap design to them. So inside, you're going to receive a couple of different things, but you're going to have this handmade jewelry piece included with your order. So every month, you can get a handmade jewelry item. So she did include a note for us that says, this is the time of year when nature showcases her full potential and blossoms. I hope this box aids you in exploring your own capabilities. So we have a few stickers that go along with our box today. This is like a free bonus item that's been included for us. Additionally, we're gonna have our jewelry item. Now what I like about this is she gives us cards that tells us what the jewelry item is made with. So I always really like these. So this is all of the cards included this month with all of the different stones that she has added to this bracelet. There's a ton in here, you guys. There is a lot. But this is what our wrap bracelet will look like today. Oh, and there's a pearl on the end. So you can input your size for your wrist as well on the website and she'll make sure that these will fit when you do place your order. They do have an adjustable band here on the back. You could always wear these as a necklace if you wanted to, but the idea is to wrap these around and that way you've got a looping bracelet and it's very pretty. Once you put them all together, look at that and look at the pearl there. So as you saw in the cards earlier, there's all these different stones that she's used this month, but they're very lightweight. So I always feel like they're very soft. And like I said, you can wrap this around as tight or as loose as you want it to be. But then you can learn about all of the materials she used because she includes all of these cards with it. And last up for today, we're going to be checking out the Journal Junk box for May 2024. This box is really heavy this month, you guys. And it didn't all fit in the box this month. So in my bubbled mailer, not only did I have this box of goodies, but it also had another item sitting outside of it. So the Journal Junk Box is a monthly subscription where you will receive a box of goodies all centered around the theme of journaling, but I also feel like you can use a lot of these items for scrapbooking or smash books. You could always do them for like letter writing as well or doing cards or anything along those lines. So it's more than just journaling. Sometimes I feel like the name can limit the potential of the box, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of great office supplies inside of this. So like I said, this is the May box that I'm going to share with you guys. There is a theme each month. This one is called Floral Reflections. We definitely have the florals for May this year. And then inside, you're going to have a list of all of the products that are going to be included. So the first one that was sent outside of my box is this coloring book. It is the self-care book, and there are 31 pages for coloring and it is a brand new book. Now, I did a ton of coloring at the start of the pandemic, you guys. Like, seriously, they were so much fun. I even got the really nice pens that are like the fine point, and I would just sit and work on those like for hours. And I kind of gotten out of the habit of it. I haven't done it in a really long time. So this is a nice like reminder, I should definitely get my book out and keep working on it. But they are really relaxing, and these are so easy to do that you know, you can do them with any sort of colors. You don't have to buy the really nice pens like I did, but it does help. Ah, 
But if you do want pens, there are some included in the box this month. So we do have a set of three pens here. It looks like they're just going to be ballpoint pens, but they have that matching floral design on them. We also are going to have a giant pack of flower stickers. There are so many in here. Oh my goodness. So basically, every flower imaginable is inside of this pack. And... You know, some boxes will give you like one or two stickers, but do you see how many are here? I mean, there's like 50 of them, you guys, and I'm not even, you know, exaggerating here. Like, that's how many stickers there are in this box this month. There's a ton of flowers. Oh, we even have markers in the box. These are eight washable broad tip markers. Okay. So love that. I can always use markers. I literally have like an entire drawer of pens and markers, you guys. But I do I have a thing for all the supplies. I just love it. The next item included in the box is a set of Garden Blooms coasters. So this is a set of six coffee coasters. Well, this might explain why it was so heavy this month. So inside we do have a stand that will hold all of the coasters inside. And then, like it mentioned, there are six. They're all going to be lined with cork on the bottom. And then they're going to have these floral designs on the actual coasters. How beautiful is that? And I think they're going to be different. Yeah, bloom where you are planted. So stinking cute. So there are three different designs with a set of six coasters here. Oh, look at this. It says kindness matters. This is so cute. I love the colors. I love fun, bright colors like this. This one is a bag woven from 95% recycled materials. Okay, so this one could store like all your pens and markers that we just got in the box. You could put them all in this. Hello, beautiful. Oh my gosh, look it. So this is going to be a giant memo pad or notepad and it says hello beautiful on it. Love this. And then you've got several pages here, but it all says the same thing. See, I would just put a strip of magnet on the back, put this on the fridge, and then I can write down my groceries, whatever I need. But I love this print that is on everything. And once again, I feel like this box is packed this month, you guys. So my last item in the box is a notebook, which would go along with our journaling theme. This does say notes on the front and it does have a gold strap to seal your book shut, but it does have a spiral bound on it. And they've got cute little flowers down here. Wow, lots in that box, you guys. Like, holy bananas, I felt like that box just kept going. So that is everything for today's Manic Monday, you guys. Oh my gosh, I felt like these boxes were huge today. Between Appy Hour giving us so many different cheeses in it this month, the Literary Book Club just kept going with all the amount of gifts that we had inside of it. I felt like the journaling, the journal junk box was also filled with flowers. I mean, you guys, I have a whole bouquet of flowers basically from this one box. So seriously, the boxes today were so big and full of so many products. So comment down below, you guys. Let me know what is your favorite box today or favorite item. Is there one that you liked more than the others? I have to go with Happy Hour. Oh my gosh. Because the smell off of these cheeses is so good. And what little I did taste, I'm like, yep, I'm going to be sitting down with a glass of wine. I'm going to watch a movie. It is going to be so great. So that box is still my favorite. I just love that subscription, you guys. Definitely go check it out if you haven't yet. It's also a small business run and it's just, oh, it is so good. But again, if you're interested in any of these boxes, I will be posting links and codes all down below for you so you can save some money. But until next time, you guys, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next Manic Monday. Bye!